Hey, what's going on, CoinFTV subscribers? Robert Walken here. In this video, I wanted to do a quick unboxing of the Shaw Brothers Classics Collection Volume 2 from Shout Factory. Just got this in the mail today, directly ordered from the Shout Factory website. I believe it was about $140. Uh, here we go. We got a nice little cover. It looks like T Long, Alexander Shang, some of the other classics on the front there let's go on the side same image that's probably the image of the poster there i have the poster in the box below but uh don't really have room for posters so i'm not really putting them anywhere just kind of hold on to them uh, this time around we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve movies so it's like we get a bonus movie for the same price it's very strange we get um 11 movies in volume one and volume three but for some reason volume two has a, an extra movie to it whatever that means so um, if you saw my unboxing for volume one you'll see that uh, i was very impressed by the artwork and i've been watching these movies along the way and some of them i'm really enjoying some of them were first time watching some of them i've uh, in this collection, some of them will be movies I'm more familiar with, so um, so I'm a little more confident in this set. And then Volume 3, I'm very familiar with that set, but I like the packaging overall. I think the movie quality is really great. Something I discovered along the way with the uh, Volume 1 set was that uh, there's some bonus commentary tracks that aren't listed on the uh, packaging. I think they were kind of like last minute editions, so that was kind of cool to get some extra stuff there. So here we go, I'll just start with this order. We got uh, signage up here, so about this Classics Volume 2, so everything's very clear. You don't mix things up. Here's, uh, this one here is Volume 1, so that's nice. Packaging and the artwork is similar to volume one so far on the disc so we've got the flying guilty now this is one i've seen before I used to have it on dvd dub so this would be great to have a nice blu-ray of the flying guillotine and the dragon missile while i have not seen uh low lays in that i think it's from the same director as the flying guillotine so this is nice that they paired these together um i'm noticing that this director um it, he likes to do movies with um uh, throwing objects. I just watched the killer darts and uh, that was that was in there also uh, you know a lot of a lot of throwing objects. So the flying guillotine commentaries, uh, commentary on dragon missile, James Mooj, um, who usually sort of says like hey let's grab a drink. I'm gonna grab a drink and we'll uh, play along. This looks like it has a couple commentaries on here and some comments some interviews with some of the actors so great here we are shaw brothers classics flying guillotine and the dragon missile i'm gonna basically have a nice little marathon with the dragon missile flying guillotine and some of the other ones in this uh sort of genre the the flying guillotine genre so the beheading genre so you can do reversible artwork if you want it there. I'll go a little quicker as we go through these. Uh, I just want to get things sort of established. Okay, here's Heroes 2 and The Bride from Hell. Heroes 2 I've seen many a times. Alexander Fushang. Uh, the Bride from Hell, I have not seen this. What kind of special features here. We, uh, we have a little less on the features. Bride from Hell has a commentary with David West, and here's two commentary with David West. So great to see the commentaries there. Okay, let's flip this open, and we see the artwork is nice. I believe Heroes 2 is the one where um, he digs. Alexander Fushang has to save... Uh, uh, what's his name? There's that Chen Kong Tai. Uh, forgetting everybody's names, but uh, I believe he digs like a little tunnel through there to save him. Uh, some dramatic emotional moments. Uh, let's see. Heroes two. Yeah, Chen Kong Tai. Yeah, that's the other martial artist in there. Man of Iron. I have not seen Man of Iron. Water March. And now I've seen this. Look at this packaging. We've got little thumbnails basically for 
the entire cast of the movie there. Uh, so the only thing that's a little strange with this select collection is we're going to have Delightful Force and The Water Margin, but not All Men Are Brothers, kind of the third movie in that series. And it doesn't look like that's going to be in Volume 3. Uh, Man of Iron has commentaries, James also, two commentaries, James and Chris, commentaries with Brian Bankston. Okay, so I think he was uncredited in Volume 1, so that's great to see his name is on this. The Master Cheng Che featurette, great, one of my favorite directors. T. Lung featurette, great, one of my favorite um, Arsh actors, Shaw Brothers actors. Let's pull this around. So yeah, I'm a little I'm a little disappointed that All Man of Brothers isn't somehow in this box set. I have it on DVD. I'll just pop this out. I have it on DVD, and um, so you know it's just going to be a little strange having. Uh, I like this cover here, uh, or that image. It's going to be a little strange not having that on Blu-ray. Maybe that'll get released individually. Is this is this Man of Iron? Is that more of a contemporary? film it looks like a little more contemporary with the uh, clothing there and uh some cars i'm more into like the uh kind of the og the old school the ponytails i'm not sure what that's called but the straw brothers ponytail era but i'll take a good contemporary movie from time to time if possible so here we go delightful forest so this is like part of that trilogy that water margin part of water margin trilogy um, this image is a little different. I'm used to seeing uh, T. Long with his head sort of down. The Devil's Mirror, I don't think I've seen this one, but I like that image there. Great packaging overall. Uh, special features, Delightful Forest. Commentary with uh, film critic Ian Jane. I'm not sure I've heard him do a commentary before. And commentary Brian Bankston on The Devil's Mirror. Pop this open. Nice image there. And there we are, an action shot. I don't know, this image doesn't really represent my memory of the movie. I'll have to uh, see, it's been it's been a while. So for some of these movies, I haven't seen them for over five or 10 years. I um, mean, I have them on DVD, they just kind of sit there on my shelf and I try and rewatch them like every 10 years. And because of the Shaw Brothers, collections it's given me an opportunity to revisit a lot of these or see them for the first time two movies i've never seen before the crimson charm and the shadow whip i do believe this was on like a four movie collection um, not too long ago on dvd this uh looks pretty interesting pretty fun oh low way directed the shadow whip cool special features uh crimson charm doesn't look like a commentary but the shadow whip has commentary with david west Okay, I'll just pop these out here. Nice image. Is that, uh, kind of looks like Ching Pei Pei there um, on the image. Let's see. Yes, Ching Pei Pei and then Ku Fang. Yes, I was thinking that kind of looks like Ku Fang there. He's, uh, he's one of the Shaw Brothers regulars I like a lot. So some of the, uh, some of the actors and actresses I like a lot. And the last disc here, Lady of Steel and Brothers Five. I've heard really good things about Brothers Five. I haven't seen either of these. Let's flip this around. So we've got commentary on Lady of Steel by Ian Jane and Brothers Five commentary with James Mooj. Some trailers. Oh, this looks like two commentaries on Brothers Five, film historian Brian Bankston, so that's great. It's crazy. I've been watching some of these for the first time, and then like the next day, I go back and I listen to it or watch it again with the commentary, and uh, you pick up some little extra details here and there. It's a nice image. I like that they got the whole outside of the uh, horse's face there. Is that uh, Chang Pei Pei also? Yes. I'm definitely getting a better appreciation for Lo Lei, Chang Pei Pei, watching some of these early. Shaw Brothers Wuxia films that I hadn't seen before or maybe just hadn't revisited for quite a while. So there it is, 12 movies. Um, I guess at this point I'm just a little bit uh, bummed that volume three is only gonna have 11. Like I feel like now that we've jumped to 
12, that should be the magic number. <laughs> Not to have like an odd, odd disc. But um, anyway, I picked this up directly from Shout. I do believe it's available from other retailers. So let me know if you're gonna get it, check it out, you know, start watching some of these Shaw Brothers classics. Hopefully you're, if you're new to my channel, hopefully you subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching this video for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.